Good morning. And here we are again on Christmas morning. Yes, it is December 25th, and we are bringing you the devotion for today. Uh, in fact, today, uh, we're, rather than just me commenting on the scripture, I, I'm just going to read the scripture. And uh, I'm reading the story of the birth of Christ, and it's in the first 20 verses of Luke chapter 2. And you will notice that I will be taking a sip of my coffee frequently. I encourage you to do the same. Not my coffee, but your coffee. All right. So let's begin. I'm reading the story of the birth of Christ from Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. And just as a, a, a sidebar of this, that they, the people were required to go back to the city of their birth to register. Okay, Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from then into heaven, and the, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now, when they had seen him, they, were, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, 
as it was told them. Amen. Such a beautiful story of the birth of Christ and his coming into this world in human form. I'm so thankful that he chose to come to visit us, to be a part of us, to be just like us in every way except one. The scriptures say that he did not sin. I don't know of anyone who has not sinned, but it did say of Jesus that he was tempted on every side, just like the rest of us, all without sin. He never sinned. Praise God. And it was because of his sinless life, his sacrifice on the cross, and his resurrection that we have access to heaven today. I'm so grateful for the Christ who was born over 2,000 years ago. You know, we've been talking from Isaiah 9, 6 the last few days. I agree with Isaiah. The government is upon his shoulders. The government of peace, the government of righteousness, the government of the kingdom of heaven. He is the Prince of Peace. He's been called the Everlasting Father. And he has been called the Mighty God. Oh, but on the common level, with you and I, he has become not only Prince of Peace, but Wonderful Counselor. Amen. I'm so glad to know him, the Christ. From Isaiah uh, 7, uh, 14, I believe it is, that he prophesied that a virgin would have a child and that he would be called Emmanuel, which is God with us. And that's who Jesus the Christ has been in human form, is now in the heavenlies, and will be forevermore God with us. Well, bless you so much. We're so glad you came to be with us today. Let me just pray a blessing upon you for this day and coming year. Father God, I just bring uh, uh, every person that views this video before you just now and ask that you will, by your grace, give them a blessed and wonderful Christmas, New Year, and throughout the New Year to experience the marvelously sufficient grace of the Almighty God through faith in Jesus Christ. Bless and touch each one. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, <clears throat> I just wanted to say one more thing. Uh, if you'd like a copy of our devotional, The King and His Kingdom, uh, that actually will continue on right up until the the 1st of January. Uh, all you have to do in the comments below, just indicate, yes, send me the book. I would like to have the devotional and we'll get it to you. Now, beginning on actually next uh, Saturday, the 1st of January, we will begin talking about uh, the Sermon on the Mount. And I have two devotionals on that. Uh, and so we're starting out devotional volume one and day one next Saturday, January 1st. I encourage you, join with us. Call some friends. Tell them, hey, Pastor Paul's online uh, with the devotions from the Sermon on the Mount. I know it's going to be a blessing to you. And if you would like that devotional, just to indicate again in the comments below, I would like the, met, the devotional Sermon on the Mount. It's our gift to you. We're not going to charge you anything. It's a ministry that we have. I'm so blessed to be a part of your life for these few minutes. And I trust that we have been a blessing to you. If you have liked this, please just click the like button and, and then click the share button if you think it's something that would be valuable to your friends or relatives or neighbors or enemies. <laughs> just share it in Jesus' name. 
Amen. God bless. Have a very Merry Christmas.